Sergei Konstantinovich Krikalev is a Russian cosmonaut and mechanical engineer. As a prominent rocket scientist, he is a veteran of six space flights and ranks third to Gennady Padalkar and Yuri Malenchenko for the amount of time in space. A total of 803 days, 9 hours, and 39 minutes, he retired from space flight in 2007 and is currently working as vice president of Space Corporation Energy Biography. Krikalev was born in Leningrad, Russia. He enjoys swimming, skiing, cycling, aerobatic flying, and amateur radio operations, particularly from space. He graduated from high school in 1975. In 1981, he received a mechanical engineering degree from the Leningrad Mechanical Institute, now called Baltic State Technical University. After graduation in 1981, he joined NPO Energy at the Russian industrial organization responsible for manned spaceflight activities. He tested spaceflight equipment, developed space operations methods, and participated in ground control operations. Operations. When the Salyut 7 space station failed in 1985, he worked on the rescue mission team, developing procedures for docking with the uncontrolled station and repairing the station's onboard system. Mir Krikalev was selected as a cosmonaut in 1985, completed his basic training in 1986, and, for a time, was assigned to the Buran shuttle program. In early 1988, he began training for his first long-duration flight aboard the Mir space station. This training included preparations for at least six of us installation of a new module, the first test of the new manned maneuvering unit, and the second joint Soviet-French science mission. Soyuz Trademark 7 was launched on November 26, 1988, with Krikalev's flight engineer, Commander Alexander Volkov, and French astronaut Jean-Luc Creation. The previous crew remained on Mir for another 25 days, marking the longest period a six-person crew had been in orbit. After the previous crew returned to Earth, Krikalev, Polyakov, and Volkov continued to conduct experiments aboard the Mir station. Because arrival of the next crew had been delayed, they prepared the Mir for a period of unmanned operations before returning to Earth on April 27, 1989. In April 1990, Krikalev began preparing for his second flight as a member of the backup crew for the eighth long-duration Mir mission, which also included five Avas and a week of Soviet-Japanese operations. In in December 1990, Krikalev began training for the 9th Mir mission which included training for 10 of us. Soyuz Trademark 12 launched on May 19, 1991, with Krikalev's flight engineer, Commander Anatoly Artsparsky, and British astronaut Helen Sharman. Sharman returned to Earth with the following crew after one week, while Krikalev and Artsparsky remained on Mir. During the summer, they conducted six Avas to perform a variety of experiments and some station maintenance tasks. In July 1991, Krikalev agreed to stay on Mir as flight engineer for the next crew, scheduled to arrive in October because the next two planned flights had been reduced to one. The engineer slot on the Soyuz Trademark 13 flight on October 2, 1991, was filled by Tokhtar Orbikirov, an astronaut from the Soviet Republic of Kazakhstan, who had not been trained for a long duration mission. Both he and Franz Vierbock, the first Austrian astronaut, returned with Artsbarsky on 10 October 1991. Commander Alexander Volkov remained on board with Krikalev after the crew replacement in October. 
Volkov and Krikalev continued mere experiment operations and conducted another EVE before returning to Earth on March 25, 1992. Throughout his various missions aboard Mir, Krikalev regularly communicated with various amateur ham radio operators across the globe. A particularly lengthy relationship was formed between Krikalev and amateur ham radio operator Margaret Yakinto. At one point during one of his stays in space, he contacted her once a day for an entire year. Krikalev and Yakinto successfully communicated via packet radio for the first time in history between an orbiting space station, and an amateur radio operator. They communicated about personal matters, as well as political ones. Jack Into set up a makeshift digital bulletin board that the mere cosmonauts would often use to obtain uncensored Western news and information, regarding the state of the collapsing Soviet Union. Krikalev was in space when the Soviet Union was dissolved on December 26, 1991. These events are documented and contextualized in Romanian filmmaker Andrei Uzhika's 1995 documentary Out of the Present. A fictional account of how Krikalev may have felt about this is described in the song Cassiopeia, written by Cuban songwriter Silvia Rodriguez. Space Shuttle In October 1992, NASA announced that an experienced cosmonaut would fly aboard a future Space Shuttle mission. Krikalev was one of two candidates named by the Russian Space Agency for mission specialist training with the crew of STS 60. In April 1993, he was assigned as Prime Mission Specialist. In September 1993, Vladimir Titov was selected to fly on SDS-63 with Krikalev training as his backup. Krikalev flew on SDS-60, the first joint U.S.-Russian space shuttle mission. Launched on February 3, 1994, SDS-60 was the second flight of the Space Habitation Module 2 and the first flight of the Wake Shield facility. During the eight-day flight, the crew of Discovery conducted a wide variety of materials science experiments, both on the Wake Shield facility and in the Space Hab, Earth observation and life science experiments. Krikalev conducted significant portions of the remote manipulator system operations during the flight, following 130 orbits of the Earth in 3,439,705 Nautical miles, SDS-60 landed at Kennedy Space Center, Florida, on the 11th of February 1994. With the completion of this flight, Krikalev logged an additional eight days, seven hours, nine minutes in space. Krikalev returned to duty in Russia following his American experience on SDS-60. Periodically he returned to the Johnson Space Center in Houston to work with Capcom in mission control and ground controllers in Russia supporting joint U. Russian missions. To date he has supported SDS-63, SDS-71, SDS-74 and SDS-76. Krikalev and Robert Cabana became the first people to enter the ISS in December 1998 when they turned on the lights in the U.S. Module Unity. Krikalev flew on SDS-88 Endeavour, the first International Space Station assembly mission. During the 12-day mission the Unity module was mated with Zarya module. Two crew members performed three space walks to connect umbilicals and detach tools, hardware for use in future EVAS. A crew also performed IMAX cargo bay camera operations and deployed two satellites MightySat-1 and sat -A. The mission was accomplished in 185 orbits of the Earth in 283 hours and 18 minutes. International Space Station, Krikalev was a member of the Expedition 1 crew. They launched October 31, 2000 on a Soyuz rocket from Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, successfully docking with the station on November 2, 2000. 
During the stay on the station they prepared the inside of the orbital outpost for future crews. They also saw the station grow in size with the installation of the U.S. Solar Array structure and the U. S. Destiny Laboratory Module. They left the station with the SDS-102 crew undocking from the station on the 18th of March with landing at the Kennedy Space Center, Florida. On the 21st of March 2001, Krikalev was also the commander of Expedition 11. He lived and worked aboard the International Space Station on a six-month tour of duty. This was the third time he had flown to the International Space Station. Expedition 11 launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on 14 April 2005 aboard a Soyuz spacecraft and docked with the ISS on 16 April 2005. Following eight days of joint operations and hand over briefings, they replaced the Expedition 10 crew who returned to Earth aboard Soyuz. Expedition 11 plans called for two spacewalks, the first in August from the U.S. Quest airlock in U.S. spacesuits, and the second in September, in Russian spacesuits from the PIR's airlock. On August 16, 2005 at 1.44 a.m., EDT he passed the record of 748 days held by Sergei Avdeyev. Expedition 11 undocked from the ISS on 10 October 2005 at 5.49 p.m. EDT and landed in Kazakhstan on 10 October 2005 at 9.09 p.m. EDT. They were replaced by William S. MacArthur and Valery Tokarev, the crew of Expedition 12. In completing his sixth spaceflight, Krikalev has logged 803 days and 9 hours and 39 minutes in space, including a Travas. He is currently second to Gennady Padalka in the record for the most time spent in space. Krikalev's contributions to the ISS were not limited to his on orbit time. On June 15, 2007, it was Krikalev himself who was brought into the Russian Mission Control Center to instruct Expedition 15 flight engineer Oleg Kutov in how he hand. ISS commander fired or Yarchahin could jump start the Russian segment's crippled computer systems. On February 15, 2007, Krikalev was appointed vice president of the S.P. Korolev Rocket and Space Corporation Energia in charge of manned space flights. In that office, he is the administrator of the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonauts Training Center. Missions Soyuz Trademark 7, launched November 26, 1988. Soyuz Trademark 12, launched May 19, 1991. STS-60 Space Shuttle Discovery, launched February 3, 1994. STS-88 Space Shuttle Endeavour, launched December 4, 1998. ISS Expedition 1, launched October 31, 2000. ISS Expedition 11, launched April 14, 2005. Awards. He was a member of the Russian and Soviet national aerobatic flying teams, and was champion of Moscow in 1983, and champion of the Soviet Union in 1986. For his spaceflight experience, he was awarded the title of Hero of the Russian Federation, the title of Hero of the Soviet Union, the title of Pilot Cosmonaut of the USSR. The Order of Lenin, Order for Merit to the Fatherland 4th Class, Order of Honor, Order of Lenin, Order of Friendship of Peoples, Medal for Merit in Space Exploration, Medal in Commemoration of the 300th Anniversary of St. Petersburg, Foreign Awards, Officer of the Legion of Honor, NASA Distinguished Public Service Medal, Three NASA Space Flight Medals, Dot. He overtook Sergei Avdeyev's previous record for the career total time spent in space during Expedition 11 to the International Space Station.
Krikalev has logged a total of 803 days and 9 hours and 39 minutes in space. On 23 May 2007 Sergei Krikalev was selected as an honorary citizen of St. Petersburg together with conductor Valery Gershiev. Krikalev was one of five cosmonauts selected to raise the Russian flag at the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympics opening ceremony.